we are at what I think is the best waterfall in Chiang Rai. And I'm going to do the hike with my father, who's 80 years old. We're gonna go for a walk, it's about a kilometer to the falls, through the forest. So, let's head off. Oh, Sasha, did you bring the mosquito spray? Damn it, <laughs> there might be some mosquitoes. But anyway, oh. let's go in. The name of this waterfall is Kun Korn Waterfall. There's a number of reasons why I think it's the best. It's not the biggest, but it's very tall, very beautiful, free entry. You can swim under it and you can go behind it and it just looks epic from a photography point of view and a video point of view. It's one of the best looking waterfalls that you can get to for nothing. See what you think. I have had to loan my dad my trainers for this trip because when he came to Thailand he came with just sandals really. That's all you really need here and he wasn't really planning on doing any hiking. As the weeks have gone on, the confidence has built and he wants to tackle, see if he can tackle a 1.4 kilometer walk through the forest. So we said, why not? Let's go and have a look. Oh, it is a waterfall. <laughs> no, that is not it. <laughs> we haven't even started the walk yet. The first thing we have to do is cross this bamboo waterfall thingy. Oh, Eden, what are you doing? Where are you going? Eden, it's the wrong direction. Come on. Come. Good girl! Now Eden does not like bamboo bridges so let's see how she handles it. In the sky! I think over the years Eden's become a bit of a luxury dog. She likes to chill out in the AC and when she gets a shock walk to put her back into dog mode it takes her a few minutes to get used to it. But she seems to be in the zone now. Come on Eden, let's enjoy this waterfall together. Another reason why we're doing this walk is because we have booked a trip where we're going to have to do a waterfall walk and my dad wanted to know if he was capable of doing it now before we booked ourselves onto a trip. So if we can do this walk, then the next one should be even easier. And this one has got the best waterfall view. Plus when we went to the waterfall in Narn, it wasn't a good one. So we're gonna do this one now instead. Eden is not the only lady here that hates bamboo bridges. So does Sash. So, I just missed the footage, but climbing over a bamboo bridge with Eden in her arms, it's quite a moment for her. Jay took Eden over on that particular bamboo crossing. That one wasn't quite as well made as the other one. <laughs> Too many holes for me to go across with a 12 kilo pup. <laughs> We gave up on this particular bridge, but Jay has gone ahead just to see what the rest is like because these ones, these bridges used to be quite well made and as you can see, it's not anymore. And these marks, this is what happens when you bring a dog with you to the waterfall. You get filthy, filthy dirty. We're going for it though. We're just gonna wade through the water rather than going over it. Wet trainers! It's a bit ropey in places, perhaps a little bit more strenuous than I believed it to be when we first came. Eden's just crossed the river, so is my dad, and we think that is the last big bridge. Now, the path should level out. It's quite challenging, isn't it, Father? Yes, I think uh, I may, I'll manage somehow. <laughs> oh. Well done. I'm very proud. Even to get this far, it's not easy. If we can get all the way to the finale, I know that this waterfall is worth it. Also, just recently, Eden celebrated her 10th birthday. So, Eden is not in her prime anymore. I just thought to add that it wasn't recently, it was six months ago. Six months ago, yeah, that's still recent. <laughs> Ten and a half years old. Oh my goodness. And I'm still hiking with my 80 year old grandpa. <laughs> this is my dad's power fuel. 
honey lemon green tea. We are walking through a bamboo canopy. It's like a shelter. Quite magical. Eight hundred meters to go, isn't that right, Eden? Go on, lead the way. Halfway point. I honestly don't know why this waterfall isn't more popular because a lot of the waterfalls, a lot of the free waterfalls in Thailand, are a bit, yeah, you know, more like rock pools and. The proper ones are normally in the national parks and they cost 200 baht to get in, but the free ones, this is definitely the best free waterfall we've been to. We'll see why when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> see, my dad's found a little rest point. It's all right, just over the halfway mark. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing well so far. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've hit the steep steps and I think we're ready to go. Let's do this. Do you want to use my shoulder for support? Why not? Why not? That's what I'm here for. I am very impressed, very, very impressed and very proud. My mum won't believe this. Now let me tell you, you might think that this walk looks easy and maybe for a young fit person it is, but there's a lot of core strength needed to get up this a lot of balance and there's not many things to hold on to not many places to sit down so that is why i'm very proud of this man right now only 300 meters to go until the rewarding waterfall there's just 200 meters to go until destination reached you okay yeah. all right i think he's got the power We've got to climb up a big steep bit now. Okay. Okay. So, <coughs> this is it, the final bit. Let's do it. <laughs> See? <laughs> we are almost there! Wow, wow! There's one big old waterfall. You made it! There it is Kun Korn. Wow. <laughs> No, all I'm going to do is get down there. Yep, and then we're going to swim in it. I'm sure the water's going to be a bit cold, but going in anyway. We made it to the falls. It's quite incredible. And Eden gets a treat at the end of her tiring walk. Are you tired after your long walk? You look very sleepy. <laughs> Jay and his dad are braving the waters and going in. And I'm on Eden watch. We are so incredibly proud of Baju for making that walk. It was quite difficult and we know. And, but he kept going and he made it to the top. And I think he's quite proud of himself as well as he should be. It's not an easy task to do, especially with all the rocks and the bumpies and the up and down and the hill. He literally climbed a mountain this afternoon. We are very happy and very proud of him for that. Well done, Baju.
I'm just so happy for both of them that they're doing this together today. It's really lovely. I can see them with both big smiles on their faces, so it's very nice. Jay's got the GoPro with him, so cut the GoPro footage. <laughs> You didn't think you could do this. Wow. Ah. So we're getting out now because we're freezing. <laughs> Here they come. They look happy. Yay! Woo! I just would like to say that I am super proud of my dad right now. <laughs> Feeling a bit emotional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm super proud of my dad. <laughs> See, not once did he complain about this. He just went for it, and we're here. <laughs> 80 years old, got into that waterfall. Very impressed. Well done. Very impressed. Well done, buddy. <laughs> So if that doesn't make you think this is the best free waterfall in Chiang Rai, then I don't know what will. I mean, look at that fantastic height. It's just beautiful. So powerful as well, but worth it. Look at your nose. Where's your nose all brown? We are very hungry for cake and I need a coffee. So let's hope the shop's open and I'm gonna go and see if I can get myself a great brownie. <laughs> nice bird sounds. Birds and insects everywhere. See? A happy father. <laughs> that was the last bamboo bridge until we are back at the car park. So that means my father, Mr. 80 years old, has made it to the end. Absolutely loved that. Very, very proud of my father right now. I'm sure you are too. And we're back down. We are just walking towards the car now. We were saying on the way back down how we could have given up at that, that bamboo bridge on the way up. <sighs> Flies on the screen. Budgie wasn't sure if he could make it, but we decided to carry on regardless. And we got to the top kind of just goes to show that if you don't give it a go you'll never know what you're capable of. Lots and lots of people would have thought Budgie couldn't have done that, what he did today and he didn't even. You put your mind to it, you can do it. We had a very nice afternoon and if we'd have given up at that first hurdle it would never have happened and we'd have just gone back to the house and done nothing, had a cup of tea or something. So very proud of Budgie for carrying on and continuing and making the most of it and turned out to be a really lovely day. Now it's gonna get even lovelier with a cup of coffee. crossed that there will be some brownies left at Seng Park because they are my favourite brownies in the whole of Chiang Rai. No. 
said that um, cappuccino Ron has been purchased father has an apple pie we all have apple pies you can get your brownie no no brownie but there is a bonus new cake <laughs> deep chocolate it says and I am a chocolate lover chocolate man likes chocolate things see <laughs> Well deserved treat after such a strenuous day. How do you find it, Dad? Well, it's a bit grueling, but I made it. Made it. Which is good. Okay. Yeah. A lot of help my son. It's okay. <laughs> I'm always there to help. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to enjoy these cakes and then go home. What a day! So what did you think of that waterfall experience? Do you think my dad could have made it? We always knew from the start that he could have got there. He just needed the encouragement. He absolutely loved it to pieces. It's a shame that my mum wasn't there to see it too. She would have been impressed. <laughs> Hopefully watching this video will help others to see that quite a lot can be done, even at older ages. So if my 80 year old father can do it and my 10.5 year old dog can do it, so can a lot of others too. Just give it a go. If you enjoyed this video, please like it by hitting the thumbs up button and leave us a comment and let us know what you thought about the experience. We love to read what you're thinking and we'll see you next time. Bye.